Ladies and gentlemen, welcome! My name is Scrote, and it is great to have you here today. We're taking another look at From the Depths, specifically our Let's Learn series, and in this episode, we're going to be building a cannon. A turret. A cannon on a turret. It's like the whole shebang. Uh, you know what I mean? Let's get down to it. So we're going to start in the Vehicle Designer. And you know, I, uh, I think for this one, I'm going to load up what I have called a prototyping platform. It's just a little vehicle I made uh, way back when the game first came out that I use to build stuff on. So let's, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Now, you guys can follow along by loading up something similar or just, just build a big flat platform that you can be on. And you'll know what I mean when you see what this looks like. See here, just a big old flat thing. It's got a basic engine. It actually has some propulsion, which is kind of hilarious. I don't know why I added propulsion to it, but just to kind of get it away from that starting area. Anyways, so we're gonna be building a cannon on a turret. A custom cannon, if you will. So, let's go ahead and get that started. First things first, we want to enter build mode. Now, to uh, to start this off, you want to put the the turret base. That's what you want to start with, and you do that by going to new object in the build menu. And we're going to go with a 360 turret. Now, you do have a lot of options here, and you know you can you can take a look at all these and what what they do. But I I tend to prefer the 360 precision turret. Uh, it, it says it, it's very slow, but very precise. Zero wobble and precision joint to the vehicle itself. I found this is this is what you want when you really want the accuracy, you know. If you're not concerned about accuracy, maybe you could take a look at the other ones. But anyways, place the turret down, and what you're presented with is sort of a separate object from your ship. You can notice uh, right now, if you tried to, you can't actually build on your ship anymore. You can only build on top of the turret. So... Here's what we're going to do. Now, the cool thing is this. You can build however you want on top of this turret, and that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to pop mirror mode on, and I'm just going to create a little base just like this. I'm thinking like a, a 3x3 platform. There we go. Just something kind of basic. And on top of this is uh, what we're going to build on. Okay, so we've got the base. Let's go to the custom cannons. Now, what I like to start with when I'm doing this is I like to start with the firing piece. And that'll just be right out front and center. Because the firing piece is its the center point for your whole cannon and turret system. Uh, all of your barrel pieces will be extending off the front of your firing piece. Alright, next up, we want to add some six-way connectors. And this is why you want to do this. Uh, so, first off, you see all these pieces right here. From barrel, recoil, flash, motor-driven, and elevation barrel. Uh, these all attach to your firing piece. The gauge increase, along with all of these, uh, they attach to your six-way connectors. So your six-way connector is kind of a way to extend the capabilities of your turret. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build. I'm going to build out like this. Just something simple, you know, nothing too crazy. We'll just get some six-way connectors on there. And I like to work on the barrel last. I like to work on the ammo systems to get things kicking. So, you, so you have some different options here. You've got ammo boxes. Uh, the ammo boxes, all they do is they add ammo to your cannon. They make ammo available to it uh, at faster rate. They add more storage. It's the auto loader. Sorry, the ammo box does not make anything faster. The reload times. It's the auto loaders where the more ammo boxes you attach to an auto loader, that increases your reload time, or it reduces your reload time by 0.75 for each connected ammo box. So I like to start off with auto loaders on here, and I'll put these just right on the side. Uh, let's see, I want to make sure this is going to go the right... Yep, okay. So we'll put a whole string of those guys right there. And then what we'll do is we will attach ammo boxes to the auto loaders, just like this. So the auto loaders have three slots on them. I'll give you a better example here. Uh, Let's see, let's take this off, that, and this, so you can see. So yeah, see how the autoloader has three green arrows coming out of it? That's essentially where you can put your ammo. Now the cool thing is this, you know, we're putting ammo boxes right now, and what, what this will do is we will be doing 100% kinetic damage with the ammo boxes. Now if we start mixing in explosive warheads or armor-piercing warheads, uh, the, the cannon will start to shoot at specific intervals these weapon types. And it's all about the mix that you have. If you have just a ton of explosive warhead uh, boxes on there, you're going to be shooting explosive warheads all the time. It becomes prohibitively 
expensive to do such a thing, but it's totally worthwhile if you do have the resources. Uh, so, we also are going to want a predictor. You don't have to put a predictor, but I like to put one right on top. Uh, this is sort of like the white line that your turret's going to draw to show where it's trying to shoot at. Now, as far as your barrel layout, you know, there's a lot of information out there about the most efficient way to put barrels based on uh, how fast you want the tracking of your barrel to be, but we're keeping this simple, okay? Uh, what I like to do is this. I like to start with uh, recoil suppression barrels. Is that the one? Uh, oh no, elevation barrels is what I like to start with. So the elevation barrels, uh, they will give your, your, your turret better elevation. So let's say if your turret can't spin up and down or tilt up and down, these elevation these elevation barrels, excuse me, allow your your barrel itself to move a certain amount of degrees up and down. Very helpful to have these. So we'll start with let's just put uh, five of those down, okay? Let's put a couple motor driven barrels. So these these barrel segments it says when placed directly in front of the firing piece will increase the arc of fire of the weapon. It also says it offsets the decrease in firing angle of one other barrel. So you could mix these in there a bit. Oops. They they spawned in so huge. So I'm going to put uh, 3 of those and then I'm going to I'm going to polish it off with just some recoil suppression barrels. These will uh, give you better accuracy and reduce recoil. You know, they kind of go hand in hand. You can see the inaccuracy modifier on the right there is 0.85. And you can see by putting this on, we do get some damage. Kinetic damage change 5. So let's add a few of these. Okay, so we've got some, some barrels on there. It's nothing amazing, okay? We're not building something crazy awesome here. So what we can do, we can mouse over the firing piece to get stats on our weapon now. And these are important to know about, absolutely. So based on the composition of, our, of what we've built so far, we're looking at 200 kinetic damage, zero explosive damage. And remember, that's because we don't have any explosive ammo boxes on there. And we have 3 AP. I want to say 3 AP is like the default you maybe start with. I don't know. Uh, we have a ton of ammo boxes, so... We have essentially 6,000 ammo available across 30 boxes. Our elevation, so because we put those elevation barrels on there, our elevation's 45. So let me show you what that will look like if we pop another elevation barrel. So remember, the elevation's 45. We just added another one on the end. And now it's still 45. Let's see. You might actually have to add them at a different part here. Let's see. Yeah. Let's take a look. Let's add some more elevation barrels. Now it's 52. Okay, see there? And the other barrels can affect uh, your elevation barrels and the amount of elevation. They all come into play with uh, with their interactions with each other and what your final output will be. So you can see we're back down to 39 elevation. That's because... Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, the recoil suppression barrels reduce the firing angle. So, for instance, we have we have 39 elevation right now. If we remove a recoil barrel, we have 45 elevation. So there you can see. So let's take another one off. Now we have 63 elevation. So that means this barrel is going to be able to point up and down a bunch. So the recoil is 490. That's pretty low. That's not bad. And the inaccuracy is 2.8. That's, it's not amazing, but it's not bad either. It's all around. It's an okay, okay looking turret. So let me show you what this is going to look like. This is a real basic turret that should work right now. Uh, I would like to say, make sure to pop some ammo boxes down on your ship. And something to note, when you're building on a turret, let's say you want to now go back and build on your ship, well you just hit the left bracket button. The left and right brackets on your keyboard will rotate you from working on turrets to working on your main ship. So it's just something to remember. So let's, let's get some ammo boxes, some ammo barrels, apologies. And let's go ahead and put a few down, you don't need many, we just want to have some to test. I'm going to exit build mode, and I'm going to jump over here and show you guys how the how the turret will, will be working. So check it out. It's really quick. Because we've got the elevation on there, look how... Holy shit! <laughs> That's intense! God, look how fast that shoots. Now, let's make some tweaks so I can show you guys how a few other things interact with the barrel. So now, let's say we want to make this a lot stronger, right? We know we want this baby to be a beast of a barrel. So first off, let's make sure we're working on the barrel. Uh, let's see. Now we are. So what I've done, I've got the gauge increasers. So here's what this says. This will increase the damage, the range, and the accuracy 
of the cannon at the expense of the recoil, the fire rate, and the ammunition consumption. So you've, you've got like a big trade-off here. You're getting some amazing stuff, but you're losing some stuff that could be really good. However, it's totally awesome. So you can see the maximum gauge of the firing piece is 20, meaning we'll never be able to get the gauge above 20. However, something to note, each subsequent gauge inc increaser that you add to the ship is 10% less effective than the one before it. Or it's 0.9... It's, you can see what it says, each subsequent component adds 0.9 of the last. So, essentially, the more you add in the chain of these, the less effective each new one becomes. So, it becomes very expensive to try to get up to that, that magical 20 gauge. But look what happens. We have 205 kinetic damage right now. I'm going to add some gauge increasers, and watch what happens to the barrel. Look at it getting bigger. Now it's a huge fat barrel. So let's go take a look. Now look at our kinetic damage, 603 kinetic damage. Our recoil has gone through the roof. It was 240, now it's 2400. Uh, our ammo use has gone up a little bit, and our, our inaccuracy, I don't know if that's changed. But let's take a look. So you can see, for one, it's a lot slower to track. So you can immediately see some of the compromise we made there. But look, it still shoots pretty dang fast. Like this, this would be something you would fear, you know? So now, on top of that, let's build just a few more things here so you can see. Make sure you're editing your turret again by using the brackets. What we're going to do, let's add some explosive warheads to this baby. This is where it's at. And you'll see how this comes into the mix now. I'm just going to lace the top of this with explosive. And that's all we'll put. Now let's put some on the bottom as well. Like that. There we go. Okay. Now we've got explosive explosive ammo on there so now we have 603 kinetic damage 240 explosive damage super freaking sweet and now you can see how this is going to look so anytime we have an explosive shot it'll be red and look at that so you can see there it's like 50 percent of our shots are explosive with this setup we have maybe a little bit more and uh let's let's test out the effectiveness of it maybe let's add a sea viper to the mix where is he oh he's way over there uh, that might be kind of difficult. Uh, maybe really difficult. Yeah, we probably won't be able to get to him. Not... <laughs> not with me controlling it like this. But, um, this is a basic turret. That's, that's pretty much it. There are other things you can add, like armor-piercing warheads. Or you could work with some of these other barrels. Now, I'll be honest, I've never found a use for the flash suppression barrel. By adding this to your to your ship, you your inaccuracy goes up. You lose kinetic damage and muzzle velocity change. Um, you do get less recoil, amazingly, um, and it reduces your firing angle. So I just I think this maybe is like more of a multiplayer thing. Maybe if you're trying to be stealthy, you could add like a flash suppression barrel. I don't know, but but that's it. I mean, you know, and the cool thing is, you know, if you wanted, you could just you could take your barrel to all sorts of crazy heights. And they can just add all sorts of weird stuff on there. Whee! Huge barrel. It's getting ridiculous. Yeah. Perfect. My barrel's ready. Let's see what that did to our design. 1,044 kinetic damage. Oh, that maxed our elevation out to 80. It took our recoil down from 2,400 to 302. And our inaccuracy went from like 2 point something to 0 0.05. Holy smokes. This is one sexy barrel. Let's give it a try. It's pretty slow. <laughs> this looks so. Let's see how. Look at what this elevation does. Because of the elevation barrels on there, look how high we can take this. <laughs> oh, that is cracking me up. Hit the birds. Take them out. All right. So, you guys, this. <laughs> this was our turret tutorial. I hope you guys found this useful. Let me know if you have any questions about it. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, in a later tutorial episode, we will be hooking AI up to turrets, and I'll be showing you how to let AI control these babies, how to have firing constraints and all that other good good juju mojo to, to make it all work. And, uh, you know, hey, we'll be, we'll be seeing how things pan out. So thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, you guys take it easy and stay classy. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Mom, the world's longest barrel. <laughs> <laughs>